Welcome to this Tutor to You revision video that looks at the river's cross profile. This is part of Paper 1, Unit C, River Landscapes. The cross profile of a river is a section taken sideways across a channel or the valley. There are two types of cross profile. The channel cross profile, which only includes the river, and the valley cross profile, which includes a channel, the valley floor, and the slopes of the valley sides. So how does a channel cross profile change as you move downstream? Remember the channel cross profile is a sideways look at the river only. In the upper course, the channel cross profile is very narrow and quite shallow. This is because there isn't a huge amount of erosion taking place and this erosion is mainly vertical. In the middle course, the channel is starting to become deeper and wider and it is normally more than a metre deep. And in the lower course, the channel becomes even wider and can actually be more than a kilometre wide for the biggest rivers in the UK. The river is also much deeper here too. So why does the channel cross profile change as you move downstream? Well, hydraulic action and abrasion are the main processes of erosion in the upper course. As the river flows downstream, the volume of water increases as many tributaries join the main channel. This increases the river's energy and its ability to erode, so it cuts a deeper channel as it flows downstream. As the river flows downstream, the gradient becomes less steep, meaning that there is less vertical erosion. Instead, there's lots of lateral erosion. This sideways erosion eats away at the riverbanks, making the channel wider. So let's compare that to how the valley cross profile changes as you move downstream. The valley cross profile is a sideways look at the channel, the valley floor and the valley sides. In the upper course, the valley cross profile is steep sided, V-shaped with a narrow valley. The valley is so narrow that the river channel will take up more of the valley floor. In the middle course, the valley cross profile becomes wider and with more gently sloping sides. There is a small floodplain here too. And in the lower course, the valley cross profile is really wide with a flat floodplain on both sides of the river channel. There may also be levees on the side of the channel itself. So why does the valley cross profile change as you move downstream? In the upper course, the valley has steep sides, which are V-shaped, caused by vertical erosion. But because the slopes are so steep, there is a lot of weathered material that falls down the slopes and gathers on the valley floor before being removed by the river. Rock tends to be much harder and therefore resistant in the upper course, so less lateral erosion takes place, keeping the valley narrow with steep sides. In the middle course, the river's gradient is less steep, so the river starts to erode laterally with meanders forming, making the valley wider. The rock here is softer, so the valley sides erode, making them less steep. Lateral erosion needs more energy, so there is not much left to remove all the weathered material, so it builds up on the valley floor. And finally, in the lower course, there is more deposition of material, which builds up floodplains and widens the valley further. That concludes this Tutor to You revision video focusing on the river's cross profile. Thank you for watching.